Between Autel and X2, which one is better? This is a question I've been asked multiple times and today I'm putting both manufacturers against each other in a comparison. Having owned and reviewed multiple scanners from both Autel and X2, I have a pretty good sense of the pros and cons from both companies. The aim of this video is to go over salient points and differences between both manufacturers and what you should expect, assuming you're considering a device from either company. Now let's get this. Starting with the build, Autel used to have a wide lead here, especially if you consider the likes of the MK808 against the D7. However, with X2's recent design language in the M Plus series like the IP819, this gap has significantly narrowed. However, in my opinion, Autel still has the edge in terms of refinement and you will also expect to have a kickstand with every Autel device. So for this first category, I'm going to give the edge and the win to Autel. Charging your scanner is one thing to keep in mind, especially if you're a shop and attend to multiple vehicles in a day. And for me, X2 is the clear winner here as X2 devices usually have multiple charging ports. All these ports, including this USB type A, can all charge the device. Also, one other thing that X2 has done is that their wired devices can charge off the car's battery once connected to the OBD port, meaning that you won't have instances where you're unable to scan a car because the battery of your scan tool has run down. Features like diagnostics, special or service functions and bi-directional tests are the real reasons why we buy scan tool. And this is the most difficult category to compare between both manufacturers. No one scanner does it all and you will always find things that are supported by one manufacturer which the other one doesn't support. This often varies depending on what car you are in. For example, on my 2017 Accord, the X2 D7 is able to replace the body control module while my Autel MP808 TS, which is a much higher tool, doesn't support this function. You will also find things that Autel supports that X2 doesn't. Sticking to the software side of things, I generally find that Autel has less communication errors compared to X2 and overall, you're going to find less bugs with Autel devices. Sometimes it comes down to X2 not fine-tuning the software architecture of their scanners. For example, the A30M that I reviewed recently doesn't have key programming listed under special functions. But if you go into the immobilizer ECU on this Honda, you're still going to find key programming options listed, despite the fact that it doesn't work. That said, if you're into key programming but you're not yet ready to invest in an advanced key programmer, all things being equal, X2 devices may be your better bet. I've noticed that X2 appears to have the edge, especially when it comes to reading pin code data and programming keys. Also, a number of X2 scanners have a type A USB port like the D8 and above or the IP819 and all these can be connected to X2 accessories for advanced key programming like the KC100 or the KC5 which you're going to require if you're going to program keys for Mercedes, Audi and so on. My take here is to always write the manufacturer, especially if you intend to buy a tool because of a particular function, just to make sure that that is really supported by the tool you want to buy. One other edge I'll give to Autel is refinement. You will find that Autel software just feels a bit more refined and more user-friendly compared to X2. On this category, it really depends on what you lay priority on and the functions you're after and so I'll leave you to decide the the winner of this category. And with that, we move on to the very important category of customer support. And this is one that X2 easily takes. X2 customer support is very responsive and sometimes you get a reply within 24 hours. I've also seen X2 roll out bug fixes quite quickly on an individual basis, even before releasing the official patch to the public in an update. In all, I'll say that X2 listens more and is more likely to implement customer feedback compared to Autel. But again, Autel has less bugs and in my experience, I've had a much lesser need to contact Autel customer support. One other thing some people consider when choosing scanners is speed. I've found Autel to be generally slower than X2 scanners and this holds true even when X2 devices have lesser RAM compared to Autel. So this is another category that X2 takes. Cost is also a major factor that people consider and across board, X2 devices are generally more affordable compared to Autel, both in terms of the cost of the device as well as the cost of renewing a subscription. Also, X2 devices come with more years of free updates compared to Autel. You may have as much as three years of of updates, for example in the X2 D7, whilst the highest I've seen on an Autel device is 2 years, and you don't find those very often. 
So that's something you should keep in mind as you mean you want to always keep your tool updated. Even though you shouldn't just buy a tool because it's cheaper, it's a decision that you have to make based on the whole package. Now that we've looked across all these categories, here's my final take. It may seem as though X2 wins in more categories that were looked at today. However, I can't just tell you that X2 is better than Autel because at the end of the day, it depends on what you lay priorities on. No one scan tool does it all. The reality is that if you're a shop, you're often going to have different brands of scanners in order to get the best out of what each brand has to offer. And either of these brands will serve you well depending on what your needs are. In case you're considering an Autel or X2 scanner, I have multiple discount coupons in the video description. I also have dedicated videos on some of the specific models from either manufacturer. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hope this has been helpful. Catch you on the next one. Peace.